It's day 242. Of the 29th year and beyond. Well, today I had an interesting day at work, and um, I wasn't really in my best place. Okay. And um, I sent you a text message. Yes. Um, so that you would know that I was in my best place. But And I prayed. And you did, and I, I'm glad you did because I needed it. And then there was someone else that God put there to help me through that moment. But um, what I was going through is what I consider micromanaging. Okay. And that's something I have a problem with. Doing it or having it done? Having it done. And yeah. because I don't micromanage. You don't mind micromanaging. No, I don't micromanage. Okay. And I don't like to be. And in a marriage, you have to be careful about micromanaging. I do understand that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because in a marriage, you can have a strong personality. Someone that likes things done a certain way may push things. To, but you can't micromanage your spouse. Well, you know, and... I would imagine more times than not, those kinds of things happen when uh, one is like uh, super opinionated on how they want things done. Yeah. You know, I mean, and and because uh, for you and I both, I'm certain that there are things that each of us probably could feel that way about. Yeah. But you have to respect the fact that um, everybody doesn't see things the way you do. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't do things the way that you do. And, you know, we had talked about this mm -hmm. earlier in vlogs mm -hmm. that we decided whoever was doing the doing right. uh, did it their way. Mm -hmm. And the person that wasn't doing it could not instruct the other on how to do it. Right. Or micromanage how to do yeah. it. You know, the, the problem with micromanaging is because you make the person who is doing the thing or doing, like, say, for instance, if I was braiding my daughter's hair... And he came in and said, well, why are you doing it that way? How come you don't do it this way? Okay, well, then why don't you just do it? Well, you don't have the capabilities of doing it, so you don't get to tell me how to do it. Or, for instance, if there's something that I've been doing for a long time, then all of a sudden he's going to come in and add his two cents on how to do it. Eventually, you start to build up animosity towards somebody about that kind of stuff. It can really put a dent in a marriage. Well, but if you're micromanaging, um, what that really suggests is you are not trusting the person That's who's right. doing the task or, exactly. you know, whatever it is. I mean, you know, that's in your relationship, that's on the job or mm -hmm. whatever. Anytime somebody's micromanaging, it's because they don't have the, the uh, confidence in you to be able to do what is being done. Exactly. Yeah. And definitely it's going to put a serious damper on a marriage. And it can really um, take a man, it can, it can ruin a marriage. It really can because you have some personalities that they want things done that way, their way, or there's no way. And so, basically, what is it saying? It's my way or the highway or something like that. That's and for some people, you know what they're going to say? Adios, I'm out. I'm yeah. gone. But, you know, when you talk about marriage, should a, man a marriage be managed anyway? No, it should not. Um, it should be enjoyed. So, so you can't micro or meta-manage? Wow. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't. Okay. Can you supervise? <laughs> yes, you can supervise a little bit your children. Observe. <laughs> Observe, yes. Mm. Give suggestions. Yes, yeah, suggestions are good. Yeah. But definitely not micromanage. Well, um, whatever it is that uh, the person that you love is doing, allow them to do it unless you're willing to do it. And, you know, there are opportunities, because it's not always a situation where, going back to her braiding the hair scenario, uh, I may be able to braid, right? But if I'm not doing the braiding, right. I don't get to instruct. Mm -hmm. Now, there may be opportunities where I could offer a critique. Yes, or a better way to do something. Right. But to try to, because you also, when you talk about micromanaging, you're also talking about manipulation and control. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, a love relationship is not one that needs to be manipulated because that's not a loving act or controlled. Right. It's to be enjoyed. Yes, it is. Right. Yes. And so all your neurotic ideas and challenges, <laughs> you have to acknowledge that they exist, but enjoy in the midst of your neuroticism. Right. <laughs> I represent that remark. <laughs> So do I. <laughs> Until tomorrow, the Lord says the same. <laughs> Thank you, bye.